Good day guys, it's Thursday today. Starting today a little bit later than I normally start my days. I was up even later last night, um, stayed in bed for quite a while. Um, so I'm hitting the gym around 12.30 today. It's my squats, 10 sets of three. Uh, I think I'm working with around uh, 4.05. So 4.05 for my 10 sets of three. That's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a really long workout. I'll probably just keep it short after the squats. I'll just do like leg curls and calves and call it a day. Um, I left my <laughs> I left my freaking rice cooker pot at my parents' house, so uh, that pretty much narrows it down to Chipotle post workout. Um, there's like little bit odds and ends that I really got to do uh, throughout the day. Might have to pick up a water a new uh, refrigerator filter. Um, at Sears, and uh, there's a couple random things I might have to do, but uh, uh, this morning I woke up, well, I always wake up every morning, and I, let me actually tone down this real quick, and I felt even leaner than before, and I'm like, I'm at my like, heaviest that I've been in a long time. Um, I'm weighing in now at like 100 and 191 or so, but uh, Wake up in the morning and my face is a little bit leaner than at night, but especially in the abs. Um, it's an interesting thing. Weird, weird, interesting fat distribution genetics and ab genetics. But um, all right, let's get off to the gym. Let's get going. Got a lot of shit to do today. Let's do this. Okay, guys, let's begin. Start off the workout, and this is kind of continuation of my warm up video I posted just a couple days ago. After that warm up. You know, I put up my knee sleeves, get my shoes ready, my Romelios. I recently bought these new ones here, um, mostly because, uh, so that Megan could use my old pair, and then I'd have a new pair, and then we can kind of like, you know, both squat at the same time. Um, what you'll notice is that with my squatting, it breaks one of the uh, quote-unquote rules of squatting, that's the knees, my knees go um, above and a bit beyond uh, my toes, just slightly. Um, and Quite often you'll hear people say that your knees need to be behind the toes or above the, like, not in, not in front of the toes, definitely. Uh, not even above the toes, they should be behind. Right there, you can see it, they were clearly in front of my toes. And it really just depends on the individual. Me with my high bar squat, plus these uh, Romelios, uh, which is a heel raised shoe, uh, my knees are going to come forward. And if they didn't, then the squat wouldn't look like this. It wouldn't look like this at all. So, it all comes with um, how your body is, how you like to squat, and um, your leverages, and your lengths of your legs, your femurs, and so on. Okay, so first actual set, and you can see that I was using uh, micro plates. And that's another topic of discussion there, I guess. Uh, I really like microplates, man. I definitely recommend the use of microplates for uh, for beginners who are on, you know, their regular five by five type programs. Uh, that way, when five pound jumps are, you know, a little bit too much, and you're constantly forced to, you're, you constantly fail with these five pound jumps in a beginner program. Um, easy way to keep these uh, consistent jumps in weight going is by making smaller jumps so four or three or two and a half pound jumps and then two pound jumps and then uh, even down to one half pound jumps um, up until a certain point that you're kind of out of the novice territory so I actually use these because I work everything off of training maxes like right now I'm working off of a squat training max that is let me look real quick 480 is the training max that I'm using. It's a pretty tough one because I'm not too sure, to be honest, how close my uh, my true max is uh, to that. Um, I haven't really squatted uh, for one rep, anything over like 455, and that was with low bar, and that was a quite a long time ago. And, uh, but you know, I actually do feel like I can high bar squat more than 455. I've done 425 for five, that's in the books. Do a calculator and you could kind of get a gist of where that puts me um, on a good day with my one rep max for squat. Although lately, you know, I've actually been just really and changing topics now from micro plates to 
just how my training is going. I'm actually just really interested in building my strength right now. And I'm even less interested, or, you know, you guys know that I've been doing my three to five rep top set PR weeks. And in fact, that was kind of how I trained on a regular basis for like over a year now, uh, especially when it, come, when it came to like the OHP and my squat, my dead and all that. I, uh, I'm kind of more just interested in working with my sevens, five threes, and maybe even some nines. Um, in my percentages and just building my strength. I've noticed that um, I've just been able to really, I, I feel like it's really effective with where I'm at right now. Um, really just building my strength and not constantly testing my strength or demonstrating my strength. And I feel like this building my strength is getting my <laughs> strength up better than, you know, constantly having to test myself or constantly having to prove myself or seeing what I got. Uh, and I think in the long run, it'll lead to uh, just more strength. So yeah, this is my stiff leg deadlifts. And at the end of this little clip right here, I'll uh, kind of give you guys uh, the gist of what this workout looked like in terms of the numbers and all that right here. And it's pretty funny because during the squats, especially towards the beginning, I was slightly doubtful if I'd be able to finish the damn workout. Uh, and that's how it felt as I progressed through this second cycle of this training. Um, I, I like the sevens were decently tough. The fives were pretty tough, and then the threes, all workouts were like extremely difficult, extremely tough, and really just testing my my willpower as well as just my resolve to freaking finish that workout. And um, it was tough. It makes me wonder if I should uh, increase my maxes by the same that I did this last time that I increased them. We will see. Um, we will see. I think I'm safe for five pound jumps in the bench and OHP. Um, now, I think I'm good for a 10 pound jump and deadlift, but for my squat, I don't know. I might make uh, slightly less than 10, but I will see. I will see. I will see. I might just make a 10. Holy shit, guys. So, surprise! It's 8 p.m. already. Um, normally, by the time I pick up my Chipotle <laughs> on a normal day, it's like somewhere between uh, noon and 2 or 3 p.m. Uh, but uh, yeah, today was kind of one of those days where things just, uh, you know, spent a lot of time at the gym, uh, ran to a buddy in front of a vitamin shop, spent a lot of time there, and then uh, picked up my Chipotle. But I think this burrito is probably one of the biggest burritos I've ever seen. And um, I'm actually looking forward to getting home and weighing it, believe it or not. So yeah, I went to vitamin shop just a second ago. I got some more uh, ZMA. I mean... For me, I actually have noticed difference in the past uh, with ZMA, and not only that, but I've liked this. It's one of those things that I have been able to embrace the placebo effect with, and uh, it's one of those things where, like, I know that it, I don't know. It's weird. It's hard to explain. It, it's like you know that it may or may not have this giant effect on you and with me personally I, it does have this slight beneficial um effect uh but aside from that i'm actually excited to take this just because like i'm able i don't know man i'm just able to placebo my ass off with zma and when i'm taking it like i just i'm excited man i'm excited it's weird man i i totally understand that i'm placeboing myself with this shit but uh, I accept it and I let it, I let it benefit me. Oh man, how bro, how how weird does that sound? Anyway, driving home from the chip chip, and I'll let you guys know when I get home. Back home now. It's about 8:30. I'm going to weigh my burrito and tell you guys what I'm watching today, because that's uh, something I've done in the past. And somebody actually commented on the YouTube saying, "Matt, what the hell? This vlog isn't complete because you didn't." watch a TV show while eating Chipotle and I realized that that is very correct and uh, this will not be a proper vlog if I do not do not if I do not um, show you guys that I eat food okay so first I'm gonna weigh this out I'm a little scale right here oh. and uh, yeah let's weigh this out okay take a good guess how much you think this weighs because uh, here we go Hey, I might as well pull my phone out and make a little Instagram video because I make pointless videos like that. Might as well. Okay. The moment of truth. Three pounds, one ounce. Cool. And that's how I make really pointless Instagram videos. 
Yeah, you can tell I live alone, all alone, by myself. Nobody else here. It's time. Previously on Sons of Anarchy. This is honestly like the real first meal of the day. Sometimes shit happens like this. So what I do in that case, I got a three pound burrito right here. I was very lucky that they made me a giant one. I really hope I can eat it all. This is gonna be very challenging. I have a small stomach. It's really weird. I have these giant burritos, but I have a really small stomach and I eat very slowly. Horrible combination, horrible. I got chips, I got guac, I got salsa. I'm gonna get some more salsa. I got a little thing of veggies right here. So it's a nice little serving of spinach and carrots. I have a thing of Arnold Palmer because that is the shit. Um, and over there I got some water. I got Sons of Anarchy, the latest episode that came out two days ago. Um, I love this show. I really do love the show a lot. Uh, what do you guys think about this show? It is the last season, unfortunately. It will probably come to a crazy ending where lots and lots and lots of people die. Um, I'm wondering if, you know, the main character will, will die or not. Or what will happen, but I'm sure that lots of people will die. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens, man. Sons of Anarchy is a really cool show. It's, I think this is the uh, sixth or seventh season. Seventh season. And, um, yeah, man, it's going to be sad to see this bad boy go, but uh, I'm looking forward to see how it ends. Uh, if it ends kind of like Breaking Bad did, that'll be cool. Um, and hopefully, you know, it doesn't leave us pissed off at the end like a lot of series do. How did you guys feel when The Sopranos ended? That last season, the last episode, man! Man, anyways, I should probably get started. It's already like 8.30 and I really need to get my food in for today. So I've only had like one freaking scoop of whey, or I'm sorry, I had one serving of whey today. I had plenty of Gatorade. Uh, so um, there's a good chance that today I won't really hit the food that I am supposed to. But it's okay because in the grand scheme of things, I eat what I'm supposed to on average. So not a big deal. After this, I'll probably... Just do work and stuff and probably get a protein shake in as well and drink some more juice or, or whatever it might be. So, yeah, maybe I'll check in with the final thought for the day before I go to bed. Um, but other than that, wish me enjoyment as I watch this here, Sons. ZMA time. Let's do it. Um, Got some ZMA here. Oh, I went with the uh, Vitamin Shop brand, uh, apparently it's called True Athlete. Um, ZMA with Theanine, a buddy of mine was just saying really good things about uh, Theanine. So I figured, what the hell, I'll try it out. And I will let you guys know if I have some crazy, vivid dreams tonight. Ooh, look, a wild vein appeared.